calls continued for days, the member of staff reported. Meghan Markle had persistently phoned one staff member from the royal household every ten minutes while she and Prince Harry were out for dinner, it has been claimed in the Times. The Duchess of Sussex felt like she had been let down about an issue apparently worrying her, so had repeatedly contacted the royal staffer while the couple were out for dinner on Friday evening, the worker claimed. Valentine Lowe, author of Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown, spoke to members of the royal household about the couple's relationship with their staff. In an extract from the book, published in the Times, one worker was quoted saying, Every ten minutes I had to go outside to be screamed at by her, Meghan, and Harry. The worker recalled the conversation, saying, It was I can't believe you've done this. You've let me down. What were you thinking? The claim is the dialogue continued over a number of hours. Reportedly the calls went on for days at all times of the day and night. It comes as further problems were reported between the couple and the Queen's long-established dresser, Angela Kelly. Prior to her wedding to Harry, the Duchess had been told the Queen would lend her a tiara for the big day, as she had done for Kate during her wedding to Prince William. But Miss Kelly was not available the same day Meghan's hairdresser was, so neither was the tiara. This meant Meghan wasn't given an opportunity to rehearse with the tiara before the day of the wedding and this, in Harry's view, was Ms. Kelly being obstructive, the book claimed. Angela Kelly reportedly ignored repeated requests from Kensington Palace to arrange a date for the hair trial, according to Sussex's unofficial biography Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan and the Making of a Modern Royal Family. Author Ahmed Scobie wrote, Nothing could convince Harry that some of the old guard at the palace simply didn't like Meghan and would stop at nothing to make her life difficult. It comes after Meghan was previously accused of bullying staff members during her time as a working royal, which she had always denied. Following the complaints, the palace confirmed it had launched a private investigation but had chosen not to make the findings public. Meghan has previously denied allegations of bullying. They were published just before Meghan's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey was broadcast. Let's just call this what it is a calculated smear campaign based on misleading and harmful misinformation, a statement from the Sussex's spokesperson released in March 2021 read. We are disappointed to see this defamatory portrayal of the Duchess of Sussex given credibility by a media outlet. It's no coincidence that distorted several-year-old accusations aimed at undermining the Duchess are being briefed to the British media shortly before she and the Duke are due to speak openly and honestly about their experience of recent years. Lowe, said he'd been passed the material by sources who felt that only a partial version had emerged of Meghan's two years as a working member of the royal family and who desired that the public should have insight into their side of the story before watching the couple's much-publicized interview with Winfrey. Meghan's lawyer Jenny Affia previously told a documentary, what bullying actually means is improperly using power repeatedly and deliberately to hurt someone physically or emotionally. The Duchess of Sussex absolutely denies ever doing that. Knowing her as I do, I can't believe she would ever do that. It just doesn't match my experience of her at all. It just doesn't.